This Jeep grill's pretty messed up. We've uh, painted it before. Um, we've recently re-sanded it down, and so I'm going to attempt to reprime it, repaint it, and clear coat it. So, anyways, let's see how this turns out. Hope you guys like it. But I had three cans total that we're gonna put down on this to really get it primed and filled and everything. And I didn't think it'd work as good as it has worked, so it's actually, to my surprise, worked a lot better than I thought. Because I have a little spot over here. It's, uh, for some reason, it's wrinkled up again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to just get some uh, more filler on it and let's just see if we can't get that little spot to go away. I now have three cans of this primer filler. Our little issue over here is almost completely gone. There's a lot of the little bitty marks and etches and stuff that were uh, very, very eye-popping or, or gone. Everything has been smoothed back over. Um, I just got to the end of a can and I got this little guy right here. So um, I'll be sanding this down as soon as all this dries and then I'll probably reprime over it. Um, anyways, that's it. I'm done for the night. So yeah, the next time you'll see this we will be painting and clear coating. I have, uh, I've got like a coat and a half on this, or actually one coat, um, and I kind of sanded down some of the rough edges, so I have another full can, um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do the final two coats on this, clear coat it. It's supposed to get down to 34 degrees or not, and then the rest of the week, it's supposed to just be cold, wet, rainy. They're calling for snow. So I want to hurry up and do this. It's 55 degrees right now. It's almost like 60, 55, 60. So I want to go ahead and get this done. That way, I don't have any more, you know, layoffs. This was not a good idea. Not a good idea. Hey, no, 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 no. Stop. Hey, no. No. I just painted it. I just painted. Look. Hey. Don't! Hey, I'm serious! I'm gonna take them away! Don't touch! Don't touch! Don't touch! This is not a good idea. If you have kids, do not do anything in the garage where they're gonna be. Let's go inside, okay? Alright. Oh! Let's go! Let's go! Oh, yeah. Bubbles just got on here. A bubble pop ring right there. Look at that. Right on the paint. Well, I guess this grill will just have their little taste on it. Yep. There you go. Now i got to figure out how to dry it off, and hopefully it'll be alright. You little stink pots, stay away! Those kids over there are probably like, what are you talking about? Hey, Evan, why don't you ring the doorbell? Fixed where he had got my bubble. 
ring over here kind of went away. So, um, yep. Looks pretty daggum good so far. Alright guys, so it is day two. And we have got this nice and painted and it is ready for a clear coat. Um, it's been... Uh, the last coat I think was like at 8 o'clock so it's like 3.30 now so I mean it's been a while so we're going to go ahead and put this clear coat on it's about 51 degrees so I think we're uh, good to go clear coat number one is on just a little shimmier a little bit more shimmy, shimmy, shinier. It's just a little bit more shinier than it was. Uh, we did use the light dusting. So I'm being very, very cautious. As you guys know that I've already done this once before. So yeah, so we're gonna let this sit for about 15 minutes. So I'm gonna go uh, grab a beer, start a movie. We'll come back out of here in 15 minutes, 20 minutes, check it, spray it. Take another break, come back, spray it, yada yada yada. This thing's freaking sick. It's a direct color match, and I really won't know for sure until I actually put it on, but I've already laid it down there as freaking close as possible. Um, so let's go over some of the things that were in the last Jeep grill that I sanded out and had to get out, and the imperfections that I covered up that you can no longer see. Uh, there are some telltale signs over here. So there's a line here of the crackling that I had going on um, in the video there's actually that spot that spot is actually right here the crease there's a line here but I mean for the most part I mean it's smooth um, also these little dots you see when the can ran low it it spat out and I wasn't noticing it like I was like and I saw I saw something so I had to go in and investigate I was like what what the hell is this and um, so it's actually speckled throughout the whole Jeep grill all the way across it's actually kind of different it's not bad it's just kind of indifferent but um, also, I didn't know these metallics, these paints, are a lot harder to paint than just a normal coat. There's a lot of more tender loving care that goes into these. Um, there is some crackling here. Uh, it is kind of orange peely. Um, it's not really that bad. I know on camera it really shows a lot of the, the surface. But whenever you're standing back and you're looking at it, it doesn't have like a super duper orange pill look. It looks flat. Um, but anyways, yeah guys, this is, this is my project pretty much of the year. I mean, this, this was a absolute nightmare. Uh, but yeah, so the, the build up to getting to this point, everything I put into it, you know, I strive to do everything 100% give it my all. Um, which weird, really weird is there's some spots on some angles that you can see, but then other angles you can't see. Um, anyways, yeah, this has been a major undergoing, um, and I would, I would, you know, I would tell everybody else to, to do the same thing 
that I did. I mean, you're, don't knock it to you try it. And if it's something you want to do, this is a great project. It will test your patience. Um, just stick with it. Also, the little bubble incident. The bubble's gone. It popped over here, I think. Yeah, it's, it's gone wherever it was. It's no longer with us. But, um, yeah, this has been crazy. It's been day after day after day after day. This thing will just sit out here and I cringe because my boys come out here and play. But I'll have it just sit over there in the corner and um, I'll come out here and work on it, you know, give it a day, come back out here and work on it, give it another day. But, um, yeah. Thanks again, guys, for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's been a, a little bit carried out, I, I know, but um, I really wanted to get it out there to, you know, this was kind of one of those projects that kind of really hit home with me that I wanted to show that I could actually really do this. Um, and you guys can too. Um, everybody struggles through, through different things. You know, painting really isn't my forte, it's not. Um, I'm good with metal. Um, you know, we have a metal shop. I work with metal daily. Um, and electrical. That's that's pretty much my forte and my background. So, um, but anyways, the um, painting, the paintdirect.com, or touch up, yeah, the touchupdirect.com um, paint is good paint. They are good people. They did send me a free can and they stand behind their products. So if you have any issues, they will swap it out. They will send you another can. Um, so yeah, uh, they didn't pay me to do this. They didn't, you know, whatever. I'm just kind of, this is what I use. This is what I think you guys should use. It's great stuff. Their clear coat was awesome. Um, I actually added a uh, Rust-Oleum two times primer on top of, or a two times clear coat on top of it. Um, but anyways, it's, yeah, it's done. Thank goodness. So, guys, take care. Peace out. If you don't follow me on Instagram, it's uh, Jeep underscore TV. If you guys haven't follow me on Twitter, it's Jeep underscore TV underscore. Uh, appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Um, if this is your first time here, hit that like button. Check out some other videos. Peace out. Keep jeeping. Take care.